Championship Series. I'm just a captain joined by Don, John, and Blueberries, and now we're getting underway with our third game for the finals now between these two teams. Unknown P up against Unknown O, and currently Unknown O is winning two to one, or two to one, yep, got it right, yep. in the series. And we're going to find out if they can take it home in another game, or if P will come back and take it to a fifth and final game. Guys, what are your thoughts on this one? I'm sticking to it. Matic, Cream, and Redemption. They are going to take it home. They are flying to Seoul. Oh, and they, Blueberries? They are closing it now. Oh, they're okay, so they're closing out now. Yeah. Blueberries, think we're going to see a fifth game? Well, I think we will. I think we will. So, concerning the ban... Um, well, now you're cheating. We're not supposed to be talking about the bans yet. All right, so we're you're not just, You're just doing off the teams, not off, not off bans. Okay, no, I think... He, he, just, he just really wants to tell everyone out there he was right. That, that's what he's... <laughs> he that's what he's doing. Look at that grin on his face. Like, I was so right. I just want to say it. Let me do it. Okay, Go you, ahead, say it. Go you ahead. got me. Yeah, so he banned Jewel. Medic banned Jewel. <laughs> I was right. I was right. So, therefore, um, now is where the mind games are starting. And I think Unknown Team P, they are on the right way. And I think we are going to see more magic. Well, there's Fortress available. There's Fortress Glaive. Could potentially yep. see that. Yep. Let's go ahead and tell them to start the game so we can get this underway and see what the picks are for both these teams and see if, uh, again, we're going to see a fifth game or if this will be the final one of the night. And it looks like uh, picks will be starting in just a few. But what are you expecting since we do have Jewel banned? What, what, what do you expect to be on the side of did, P? Did we mention that Ringo got banned as well? Mm. I, I guess we could say that yeah, Ringo did get banned. Just the say, same I mean, ban every oh, game. I mean, he was right, but still, Ringo got banned on the other side as well, so Medic can't play Ringo. I mean, he didn't attempt to play Ringo yet, so well, diff di it's interesting that they choose him to ban. Maybe it's because they want to go for that Fortress now, mm -hmm. because uh, Fortress is now not banned. I believe it's um, the first time, actually, that Fortress is not getting banned by Team NKNO, and uh, therefore that that's quite that's trying to. We do have a quite where's the button? issue here. What are you searching? Oh, you can't. Try to turn it up. No, that's not All right, well, that's not working. Let <laughs> uh, me drop back picks then, let this one finish out, and see uh, what's getting picked up. We do have the side of Unknown O locking in their comp. Can't see it there, but it will be there in just a few seconds. Just remind you guys, that's just a bug on the Android tablet since it is in beta currently still. We are seeing Fortress and Glaive. Glaive is there. What, what is connecting to Glaive now? I, I would recommend playing Cruel into this. Yeah, I think he. I think Shizzle will go for Cruel. I mean, he can see that there's no duel. This was the best comp they had. I mean, now they can have Fortress even within the team. So I think this could be the best game for Unknown P here. So we might have some sound issues right there, but it sounds it's back. I was it was it loose? Was the thing loose no. in the audio? Oh, okay, that was weird. Anyways, we do have the game loading in. On the side of the blue team, we do have Unknown O with Medic on Kashka, Redemption on Vox, and Cream on Catherine. And the side of Unknown P, we do have Roko on Fortress, Best Celeste back on Glaive, and Shizuma Nizzle on Cruel. So we do see Fortress the first time not being banned. I just mentioned that already, but I need to mention it a second time. Mm. It's the first time not banned from Team NKNO, so uh, that might be a reckless move because I don't know if they had struggle playing against it since we did not see it, but it's going to be interesting. We do have uh, a cruel fortress. Actually, Medic told me, and, and like I talked, I talked to him in private um, about the synergy between those two, and he said actually he he thinks it's not too good. But to be honest, I'm totally on the other side there. I, I just love that that combination because like somehow Rocco Safari on on fortress has an inbuilt slow, like inbuilt Shiva steel. You could say that if he gets the five stacks off. Exactly, that's actually my question, is that since we have a Fortress, are we going to see Best Celeste back on the Breaking Point as his first buy instead of the Shiver Steel? Might be. Might be, might be Rocco Safari maybe rushing the Shiver Steel on top to it, since the five stacks are not that easy to pick up early game, since Cruel has... I mean, he has, auto ta had, has quite an auto attack speed, but without any additional, it's going to be difficult. That looks like a gank, though. Redemption, if he's pulsing in... Uh, but he's staying safe and yeah. sound. I mean, he can always jump out, so they know that Best Celeste U needs to pick up there with an afterburn. But, oh, maybe the recall. There it is. And now, this is the point. He reached level 2, had the afterburn directly using it, knocking Redemption back here for the first blood. So this is the plan. Very, very well-timed here by Team Unknown P. And again, we saw at the very beginning an aggressive kickoff start from Medic and Cream. They were directly invading the enemy jungle. So is that gank successful because of Fortress? Because, I mean, we need to talk about Fortress more into this, in, in this matchup since it's the first time. Some, somehow, Medic said he, he is uh, like, I, I don't know, he's not scared of the, 
the at at an Eddie and the fox, um, at the fox. It's not a fox. The um, the wolf at all. But why then ban him all the time and now leave it open? And uh, I mean that team fight worked perfectly because he granted that um, truth of the tooth. No, uh, mark of the. Uh, I'm totally thrown off there. How is the beast skill called when you can mount an mark enemy? Mark of the claw. Mark of the claw. No. Isn't it? No, it's it's well his B ability. It's, it's rhyming. It's like um, call of no. Never mind. I'm not trying. We have blueberries uh, researching we that will, in the, we in will the background. Got this. Never mind. And they they had the movement speed to jump in. And somehow medic is sticking there around trying to get some poke onto best. Of the Law of the claw. Law of yep. the claw. There we go. There go. It needs to rhyme. That's I was why. close. Yeah. <laughs> I was close. Truth of the tooth. That's my favorite tongue twister. All right, but in the, the bottom. THs. In the bottom right, well, there is Cream here and Rocco. Well, they oh, they's going pretty deep, but he tries to keep them busy. Hmm. What is after the book, though? Like, is is Specialist you switching it off? Is is he sticking to his usual? Is he sticking to the breaking point? Maybe the Shiver Steel before that? Is he even going for the Shiver Steel? As you mentioned, we do have um, Truth of the Tooth. Uh, no, Law of the Claw. There we go. Law of the Claw and Truth of the Tooth both actually. For um for stacking up and oh the nice punch. afterburn enough, here though. Sonic zooming out well still decent no, no. damage but he can't Safe. um get him of course but he can put some pressure on him which is more important yeah that's it and there's maybe something going on at least there are three members of Team NK and Pay sitting P sitting on the right side but it looks like Medic is not looking for any in initialization here and is trying to back off but. Anyhow, Redemption is rotating downwards now. They maybe think that they're still sitting in Tribush, but they should have seen that Bestilis is now back, actually after burned up there. That's quite interesting. We had Fuji mentioning that on the last um, Friday dev stream, that you need to be careful when to use, especially the afterburn, because you can see it, the energy bar is bare. Yeah. Like, it got split in half as soon as you're using it early game. We do have a little bit of invade coming out of the side of Unknown O yet again, looking to force them back out again, trying to take advantage of the early game faults that, that Cruel has, not being as strong as he is later on, once he gets tanky and can do a lot of damage. So, good job of them, trying to keep, again, the side of Unknown P down in levels, and they're trying to be aggressive, trying to get Bestilis pushed out. He's actually in a really awkward position. He could get pushed back into the turret, but he's going to have to burn to escape. She's getting stunned up, and has pushed Cream back out of this one. So, both teams just going to reset. Again, we have to think about all the pressure on both these teams, you know, I know P they can't afford to lose one more or their their sister team will go to Seoul Korea. Like, you know, I, I bet both these teams never even thought of the opportunity of going until it was announced for uh, Vanglory, but the fight's breaking out and Medic's already getting low. All right, so Medic is the focus of the enemy team. Rocco here is smiting him. He's bleeding and he's going down. Cream here, he can't do anything. Going back and uh, well, he is going down as well. Tried to Merkless Pursuit here, but that is just like... Not enough to survive. Meanwhile, Redemption, he's doing the best he can do in this situation, taking Sh some... Should, though, not stick around, because, yeah, that's smart to yeah. drag that minion a bit back, because we saw already, actually, Best Celeste, you trying to get an afterburn down there. Now, picking up towards Gold Miner, I don't think that Redemption could do enough about it. Oh, bro, you need to know that there's actually something stacking on you, on you if you're um, getting a lot of... And there it is. You see that slow? Mm. Meanwhile, gold mine is safe, safely secured for Team NKNP, and it looks like Jason, you have a good, like a good hunch about NKN. Just saying, you know, they're winning this game right, that right currently, and I did say NMP is gonna win. And they have late game for them. So what happens if if I'm right, and they do go on to win? Does that mean you guys are buying me my drinks tonight? No, that means we still need to run into the fifth game. No, let's not no, no, I mean win the whole thing. Oh. They won't. Does that mean you guys are, are uh, buying my drinks? No, that means that I was uh, right in the end when I had to decide between you you guys, but That's I true. will buy you definitely he, one. Do you see that? He's always nudging it. When he's <laughs> right once. Yeah, I have to because I was wrong in the beginning, so now I, ha I have to say like I was kind of right. See, but now you're going to be double wrong. Watch, watch Don John be right, and then it's just like, well, thanks, you got me on the wrong side of this. <laughs> All right, but 3 to 0, not an ending kind of scoreline just yet, but again, having a late game team, having an early game star like this is going to make their late Later game come a lot sooner, make them a lot more powerful. We might see the engage oh. chisel. He has ultimate up. Cream's already very low HP. They're gonna get the stun onto medic, but not getting the afterburn in the right position. I think a little miscommunication as Cream gets very low on health. Where the hell's Fortress? Actually, he's back at base. He's gonna return back to lane. But seven minutes in, the goal might already been taken once out of Unknown P. And you've already seen the, the power that Unknown P can bring with this Glaive Fortress cruel combo. 
Right, so. everyone, like, cream, well, 50 HP down, 50% uh, of course, I mean, but they are chasing, look at Redemption, yeah, the tension he for tries, yeah, he's activating the boots, he tries to kill him, and he's going to use the ultimate to kill him off, it's not hitting, but... Matic is picking up the kill, and now Redemption tries to connect to Best. Uh, Yummy Cat and Frenzy, most important here, picking up the kill onto Best Celeste EU. He can't do anything. I would love to have instant replay. I mean, he died afterwards, but Chiselman as well used that man's rush on such yeah, a short to range the minion into mine. the minion miner, yeah. and he survived it actually, dodged the, um, the wait for it. Yep. That was a really, really good play yeah. there. I, we need instant replay for stuff like that. That's just beautiful. Well, he couldn't escape Medic, though. But still. Medic managed to pick up the kill. But uh, Commentator's Curse, we start talking about an MP doing so good, and then they lose two men without getting a single uh, kill I back. I am so. fine with that. I'm sure you are. I'm <laughs> sure you are. But I'm looking. I'm, I'm really hoping for a fifth game to close us out. What a way to actually do it. You know, after yes. nine cups to close the oh, whole thing out. Oh, there comes Medic. He's going in. Redemption has the nice position and he's dodging perfectly the ultimate from Shizzle. My Nizzle, but Best Celeste is, dodge, is knocking him back, picking up the kill here. Medic has to go back. What a fight here. Very well organized. Well, nice dodge from Redemption, but in the end, still going down. You know what I'd love to have seen? Double break it, breaking point immediately. What well, Shizzle picking up one as well. Like, that would have been ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do have it already on Best Celeste. You, exactly. If you guys did not capture it yet. But, yeah, I mean, if you would be the coach of uh, Team NKNP, because you're, like, highly favoring them at the moment, would you tell them to go for... The Dude, they're so much better than me at this game, I wouldn't tell them what to do at all. <laughs> uh, I was just saying that'd be crazy, because if they, if they can drag the fights out, um, with Roku giving life steal to them for free, just off his abilities, it makes, them so, it makes them so much more tanky that they can stay alive a lot longer to make the breaking point work really well. And I think breaking point fits in well with Cruel's kit, just the fact that attack speed always benefits him, so he can get a smite and, and, up yeah, and he needs to, he needs damage. to stack anyways. Yeah. So, yeah, agree on that. That's why it's probably one, one of the most common picks on Cruel. I asked that actually yesterday on VGL. Like, is there a different way actually to play Cruel besides a breaking point? Like, is there anything smart? We had no one really coming up with something where I would say, well, yeah, that could work, that could work. I mean, um, Frostburn would be, but um, yeah, th that's probably the only thing. And maybe an Aftershock, so for uh, this next is gonna be a fight. Cool. This yeah. is oh, yeah, because the friends are on to Best Celeste EU. There comes a wait for it, dealing amazing damage, tons of damage. The ultimate here, there comes attack of the pack, and a shizzle my nizzle. He can b go Could away. Could you please as well finally as call them Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's official. We named this. I'm going to call them Charlie's Angels just to all be different. You always want to try to be different, right? <laughs> gotta be, gotta be. Okay. All right, so it will be a little bit of a crazy exchange out of both teams. But Unknown Peace still maintain the lead by one kill. Gold is tied, though. And the Minion Mine, uh, just about half done and picking up all that extra gold. But it's going to get a little bit dangerous, I think. You know, about the 12, 13 minute mark, I think, is when Unknown Peace is going to start to get really strong. Like we said before, the breaking point is done for Celeste. We do have... That not sounds, completed out of Shizzle just yet. Yeah, that sounds so wrong if you say it's a breaking point on Celeste, right? Like, because he's he's obviously not playing Celeste, but his name <laughs> what is if, Celeste. What if he plays Celeste with a breaking point oh, as well? Oh, he would pull it off. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sure. I mean, his name needs to come from somewhere, right? Best breaking point EU. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's what needs to be one. done. <laughs> Yeah, that would be easier than having a name for every character, uh, for every hero. Gold miner, 75% almost, so... Yeah, the call is probably going to be... Going to be yeah, strong. I think that will be the next big thing here, because oh. they are even on gold. And they picked up the... the mm, minion candy? Minion candy, that's the name right there. Rock is fairly looking for, for a jump here. He can't see anyone. But well, there is a blast thermite coming in. Nice. I, I don't think that are they actually trying to fight this? I don't think it would they be a good idea. Medic could easily fall for this one. Uh, just the ultimate shizzle going to be used, and their miscommunications. He's going to miss, unfortunately. But Cream now maybe the focus space for redemption jumps into the team. What is he doing? He's going to follow me. The Roka he might die for this one as well. But he's going to build a back away medic in between two turrets. Bestless doesn't care, but he will take too much damage from that alone, and he will fall. Questionable plays out of Redemption and Celeste there. Okay, we need to throw this right now as analyst to uh, Blue because he was, like, always shaking his head <laughs> during that team fight. I was just, yeah, right. I was just sitting here, like, shaking for the whole time I had. Like, what went wrong there? I mean, Redemption, I think he didn't, I think he totally misinterpreted the whole situation and when he jumped there i think he didn't see that coming no he, see, um, he saw the wait for it not hitting yeah that was oh, the wait. first thing it's a, it's a wait for it. and wait the for other it. thing like 
uh, the dive be between the turrets from best to last. <laughs> like, what? Why the hell would you go that deep for this? But as Jason said, questionable here. Um, still a head to head game. I mean, now they have a bit of a gold advantage here. Yeah, that's here. because that's, maybe that's the idea behind all of that. I mean, how, many, time. how many died out of, out of those? Two. Two. That's that's not, not the same amount of gold they're getting paid out. That's 900 gold. You're not getting 900 gold out yeah, of Yeah, but it kills. was one on each side, yeah, so therefore... Um, yeah, that's like that's yeah. like 100 gold in total for the team mm. compared so to 900. It might be why Medic jumped in and tried to get a an, an trade-off. The thing was, the ultimate out of Shizzle should have been used immediately onto Medic. For him to hit the afterburn he, in the respawn. He didn't the respawn. No, no, he used it too late after, like, they were fighting for a while before he even threw it out there. And then when he did, the afterburn and the knockback pulled him out of out of the uh, direction of it. So that should have been a free kill in the medic, 100%. Oh, Creamy going in. Two versus three. I attack all the pack here coming. Donjon is shaking the hat because I call them by the name. <laughs> medic here. Well, it's just a bit bleeding. So he should be fine, right? Mm -hmm. um, let's let's check that. The Shiva Steel is coming out before the next team fight is happening. Actually, the Shiva Steel is there on um, Shizzle and now. I think it's there for a couple of minutes already. It looks like actually that um, Nken O oh, tries to do the team fight here. And well, there comes the Blast Tremor. Yummy cut the frenzy onto Bass Celeste. You. He is the target of the team. But meanwhile, Redemption Smite down here from Cool Bass Celeste going down as well. And well, he is going in Medic with the Bouncy Farm. Can he use the Trilly Death? There it comes out of attack getting locked down again by the smite from shizzle my nizzle and this is what we are talking about here the shiver steel plus the attack speed now showing off nobody can actually escape him here yeah beautiful place right there shizzle my nizzle doing a way better job than in that previous team fight and now, now trying to pick up that gold miner that should be uh, we can't quite see it because they're Avatar, well, it just so paid right. out recently, yeah. so it's yeah, fortunately not that much. But they're getting it right before the Kraken, so they right. get the money from it as well. So they put a bit of pressure into um, Team NKNO, oh, but I don't think they will even try to pick it no, off. because it's so. not enough gold. But it's yeah. still it's a good chunk for, if you are even, to get maybe one Tier 3 item picked up a bit earlier for the next team fight, And that is always a big thing, especially if it's going to be maybe the Tension Bow. I, I don't think that Cruel is going to end up buying one. Maybe because he has a battery. I, I feel he f maybe he felt quite um, lost on energy right now. So maybe selling that and getting it like with the Blazing Salvo into a breaking point, really like late game after Crack spawned, which is going to happen anytime soon. Are they actually attempting it? Yeah, yeah. they are <laughs> perfectly. It's like 30 gold. But still, that's 90 for. The whole team. <laughs> I mean, it just <laughs> reflects that Unknown O is going for every penny here on the house in fold, which isn't the worst thing. I think it's very, very good. All right, pushing in the turret yes, for 900 smart gold now. rotations. Yep. Best Celeste oh. after burning in. Well, not hitting anyone. There comes from Hell's Earth from Shizzle My Nizzle, but he gets locked down. No, there's a block from the Yami Cat, the Frenzy. Wait for it. Now Fortress is joining, and then Bastille is going down first. There comes Attack of the Pack here. Shizzle My Nizzle can get beaten here from Medic, and he's just going through the tower. Oh, the wolf. He him. ignored the Eddie, and Eddie gave him actually a mortal wound. Wait, That's was it fun. Eddie or was it Ed or Ed? That's Come on, that was, was it? obviously Eddie. I, so Eddie's the... The, the smart one, or...? Because <laughs> in the show, Eddie was the dumb one. Oh, let's get not deep into that right here. <laughs> all right. Well, 7-7, seven seven, all tied up in kills. Gold, though, not the same kind of story. 14.8 to 12.1. And we're hitting that 16-minute mark. And again, Unknown P, we saw Best Celeste. He afterburned and knocked a minion back into the turret, and then they kind of committed again in the wrong times. Communication, I think, just lacking a little bit. But we'll see what's going to happen. I feel like on OP, they still have a chance. The game, it's going longer and later into it. Items are being picked up. But best Celeste, he's not going the, the same routes he's been going before. He's going a little bit different with the Atlas Pauldrons. Uh, I picked up. Yeah, and um, as I mentioned, it's not looking like uh, Shizzleman is this going for the breaking point. He actually bought a Void Battery. And I'm curious, what is he building out of the Void Battery and the Blazing? That's like two tier two, tier two items. 
which are not um, going together right good oh, best after burning you, in here well man it just following up they want to lock them down there comes the ultimate and who is going to, to die first well it seems like they want to stick to best celeste but chisel is taking a lot of damage redemption he has to go away after burn knockback he's going down immediately look at this fight chisel can he survive he's sticking to the enemy now he's going back split up here cream and medic they have to face best celeste and rocco now they are going back medic bleeding so now now they split up even further. It is a three versus one. Can Medic pick up the kill? No, he cannot. That was very, very close and risky. Still from Unknown P. But they are going for Kraken now after that fight here. 2 0 for them. Yeah, actually, he could have secured that kill a bit easier and faster. But Afterburn was not up because he had no energy to use it. And therefore, it's going to be an easy crack pickup afterwards. And the buff is coming in as well. So they are fully healed. Prepping now for pushing at least two turrets. Mm. It's going to be difficult for them since um, Vox, like Redemption, he can smartly protect turrets since he has the range for it. But as soon he is in a, in a wrong, like I could assume they're collapsing on him as soon he uses his pulse. Well, look at Shizzle. Sonic Zoom. He's got ultimate up and he's going to have to get this one away. We did a best list pick up a crystal infusion as well, just trying to make things a little bit more pushy on their side. They should be able to pick up his turret. They're going to play this one a little bit safe though. Minions not joining the party. They're also going to hit Redemption, the perfect target, and they might be able to burst now before he has anything to say about this. The smite not going to be enough. He's getting just barely away from this, but he's going to die to this. Actually, no, he's not no. going to die. He finally wow. does fall in a one-on-one -on -one trade. Best Celeste will fall into the turret. And that ultimate was phenomenal out of Shizzle, but they're able to kite just long enough to allow Redemption to pick up one. Where's Medic going? Don't leave Crack there. That, oh, that is going to be a worth trade. I mean, he, he was looking, obviously, to get the ace buff in, but just focus him. Uh, focus her, sorry. <laughs> and um, I think, yeah, they will get her down before she's pushing that turret down at least. Oh, no. What an Medic is ooh. He has no energy, so they can't. Yeah, will fall from the explosion, possibly. Yes. Yep. That's why he, you, you saw that. Medic is so smart, he already backported and yeah. thought, okay, he's dying anyways. Wow, Shizzle, my noodle here with a very, very nice engage. Look what best Celeste built. Shiver Steel. Mm. He did it too. Really wonder why. He's very defensive this time. Plus um, Atlas Pauldron. So, well, that's actually really, really good. Because Red Redemption, he's going for attack speed. And therefore going to slow that down and out only for him. If he's going to afterburn in all of them, of course, he's going to slow down the attack speed from everyone. Yes, so the Kraken got recently picked, so there's no big objective for a team and can O to somehow capture it, so they need to do a smart Does rotation. Does someone tell them that? Because they look at them, they're pushed in the enemy jungle. <laughs> oh, Redemption just jumping over that. Mercus Pursuit may be coming in, but he saw that coming, so Boots news for nothing perfectly. And Redemption getting completely locked down yet again. A fantastic ultimate by Shizzle. The wait for it comes in, but doesn't do that much damage. Just could be the ace and the push for almost a potential win. But Medic just barely escaped. He goes back in. Why? Oh, he, he I think he wants to save yeah. time, something to pull them back. I think it was just like the last, the last man standing well, move. Cream got away, so they're not going to get the ace buff off that. So yeah. I'm not sure if they can really push down another turret. Oh, actually, they have a lot of time. They have like 20 seconds of redemption. They should be able to get a turret from yeah, this. Yeah, the turret. And you see the DPS, right? I mean, it's not too much since he's not... Like, he's actually literally next to the breaking point, not having any damage items. But still, Ed and Eddie coming out. Yeah, I'm calling them Ed and Eddie. Not doing too much. Committing, though, to three members. Uh, only two cream. And uh, he's bleeding a lot now. Meanwhile, turret is going down. That's an easy trade. They will wind up getting the whole jungle from... Oh, not all of it. That's why not. Why not take that mini miner? That's safe. Hmm. He could easily burst that down fast yeah, enough. That's gold. That's uh, that's not push. even gold. That's also pressure on lane. They need yeah. to take it, take it back. Minions are, or maybe they did it not because the minions are not as much worth now. So because they could easily just hmm. not. Like, because then the minions from them would push in, and yeah, they no. would be, like, sitting in that bottleneck and just farming, farming then all of the lane, which is coming. we have the same situation, like, like yeah. the game, get game before, so, so they kind of freeze it in their base. Which I see, is, you uh, get me there. Which is a kind of tricky situation. So maybe maybe the right decision here 
And we might see the next fight coming in here. Kareem was shopping and Rocco was just standing next to him doing nothing, waiting for the teammates. Shizzle my nizzle connecting from the top and we might see the next ultimate coming in here. He's waiting for his passive. Now he's going in and there comes the ultimate. Not hitting! No, there comes Yami Captain Frenzy. Redemption is the first focus. He might fall. He is Sonic zooming out. Yami Captain Frenzy don't top onto Celeste. Who's falling? Redemption is winning this fight. He is killing off Rocco. He tried to kill him, but it went vice versa. So the medic here just going back, but best, best Celeste after burning just after him. And now he has a problem trying to dodge. There comes the block. Well, there comes the Atlas Pauldron from Green coming in, but he can't protect. The axe is just hitting him in his yep. face, and he can't do nothing about that damage. Nothing to block anymore. Oh, though. there comes the ultimate, Perfect. the clockwork with a low cooldown. He actually now showing off what is a low cooldown about, and Chisel, my Nizzle, well, okay, they are now going back enough pressure, and this is a very, very interesting match. It is had to had still after 25 minutes, Kraken here waiting to get captured, and now I think they still won't touch the minion mine. No. Will they? No. They won't. They need to get back and heal before the other team can potentially go for Crack and steal mm -hmm. away, I think. And yeah, that's probably now why they're doing it. Because Crack just recently spawned and... Oh, I thought for a second the Minion Man looked, because some sometimes on the Minion Man you can see when Crack is getting pulled to one side. It looked for a second that actually Shizzleman is going for the solo. He did not backport. He bought... Probably... No, he bought... A uh, you can't see that, but he probably got the heal minion, that's why he's still on that buff. But he's alone here, his whole team is not there, and that could be a bad spot. But um, Medic is um, somehow refusing to... Oh, there he is. I thought for a second he wants not to leave the entrance of his base. But they need to be around Kraken now, because if they if they can pull that crack, they will force a team fight near to the Vein Crystal of Team NKNO, and that is going to be deathly how best Celeste actually popping oh. just a weapon infusion. After burning in here, but only can hit the tank. Double infusions. Oh my goodness, on Cruel yeah. and on Glaive. They really want to fight for this because they know if they're gonna lose, then NKO is going to fly to South Korea and they lost it while they're trying to do the Kraken. Redemption is coming in and Medic going in as well. Two versus three situation. Wait for it. Now Best Celeste is joining. The Kraken is joining the fight as well, hitting everyone. Well, Cruel is going down. Chisel, my Nizzle, Rocco, the Freddy Health Bar melting. So Best Celeste who has no chance. This is the ace coming in for NKNO and can they finish the match? I don't know. Oh, it's Death a time minute. It's around a minute. a minute. But still, I think they have one, two, three, four turrets plus the vein to push. They wow. will. They will though at least get all three out, all, all two out of turrets and maybe the third one, because it's 39 seconds left until Best Celestia, main damage dealer, is back and this is most certainly going to be GG. This is actually most certainly going to be the first team flying yeah. to Seoul. So we might see yes. the first team here. Well, they're going to pick up the second turret. They're going to be able to secure it. Looks like they're going straight for the crystal with only nine seconds to go on the clock for Shizzle. There's nothing they can do to stop this. And the team who started off the season or started off the series winning the first cup and ended the series winning the last cup, cut number nine, they now secure themselves their spot into Seoul, Korea, going to be representing Europe. You have Team Unknown as your team now to put all the hopes and dreams on their shoulders for the European country. And I think... Country, wow. <laughs> <The> European <laughs> union. area, union, location, yes, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And I think that's a good choice because I believe we just saw that the best players from Europe are flying there. So I feel comfortable. North yeah. America tried to take us down. So Medic, Redemption, Cream going to be the three men yes. to represent Europe over yep. in Seoul, Korea on July 12th. We still have many qualifiers coming in with you guys over at Vainglory League when you have, what, Southeast Asia, you have North America, and even a European Cup in there or a tournament in there just for fun. Yes. Um, no, Obviously, no team is moving over from that one, but uh, there's a lot more action coming for Vainglory. There's, oh, yeah. no, uh, there's no shortage at all anytime soon. Yeah, I'm absolutely looking forward to the worlds going on in South Korea because then we really see very very nice matches and it will be like not getting stuck in your meta in the regional meta you really have to prepare it for anything yeah and they can actually play without any lags against each other mm. that's especially i'm yeah. looking forward to see like the best north american team playing against the best european team since the metas are quite close mm -hmm. and that is going to show off who is actually the better like not the better region but which team is right now on the top of the hill absolutely yeah i'm actually really curious how it's going to work out when you have over in 
Um, well, at least the East Asian tournament I saw, it was each team gets a ban, and then also each team picks one hero at a time. It was a draft pick, yep. so you couldn't play the same hero, and that made things a little bit diffi uh, difficult for some teams when you couldn't secure something right off the bat. Yeah, we don't know how it's going to run. Yeah, we're not sure. Yep. We're not sure, uh, but we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. I I'm hoping relatively soon about that one. Um, Again, congratulations to Unknown O. They did win their uh, the entire tournament. They won 600, yeah. the 600 euros. They won the flight to Seoul, Korea. I think all expenses paid is yeah. what it said. Yes. Um, getting paid to go to another country to eat all the food and play a and game, experience and to play a game plus the pocket the money. I mean, yeah, they have pocket money now. They can actually like the price. I don't know, maybe gamble euro. with it. That's probably the most of the. That would probably like be the worst <laughs> way to spend the money but there. That, that's what Don all, John. That's what all of the players are doing. Like. Don't I'm listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, speaking of all of that, uh, I think it's time to end the show. When's the next actual cup coming up? I know we mentioned earlier in the show, but we should mention it again uh, for the Southeast Asia or North American qualifiers it's, so yeah. people actually watching can tune in. Yeah, we're starting um, Monday. It's actually tomorrow again yeah, with SEA. Tomorrow. It's quite early. It's um, CST 2, 2, 2 p.m. And yeah. then we have at 9 p.m. CST, the European Cup starting off, and then at 12 p.m. in the middle of the night for the European time, the third match day of the North American qualifier. So and they can find that at twitch.tv slash vaingloryleague. Yeah. Absolutely. So a lot going on. Make sure to tune in, follow us, and um, then we will see which teams are going from Southeast Asia to uh, the worlds and from easy North America. Easy to say. <laughs> easy you, you for, easy for a <laughs> native speaker to say that. All I right. mean, we were even talking, you know, before we even started the show today, talking about the different metas a little bit mm -hmm. and how they you've seen some really new things. Uh, we had with a saw only on a broken myth. And besides yeah. that, just the Aegis of Fountain and cooldown reduction and he did like so much damage <laughs> that's sick because yeah, he, could, he could use his roadie run so frequently mm -hmm. and he just yeah. ran in ran out <laughs> stabbed suppressing fire and just wrecked the enemy team <laughs> and everyone says he's not mobile yeah <laughs> what do they know <laughs> um, I guys, got proved wrong on that yeah, yeah that's interesting uh, but guys thanks again for tuning in for everyone here for Blueberries Don John thank you guys for both joining yeah. me throughout the last couple of weeks doing all the cups and now doing the finals for Roman is doing the producer for the show thank you very much for all the work and hopefully guys we'll be seeing you new, uh, on tomorrow for yeah. the Southeast Asia qualifiers yeah. make sure to tune in that one twitch.tv slash League. and once again congratulations to Unknown O for securing themselves the spot you better represent us well have oh, a good yeah. night